What's up guys, Austin Summers here, international dating coach, relationships expert, and today what I wanna give you guys are the top 10 books to increase your attractiveness as a man and improve in your ability to relate to women. What was that? You have really good book recommendations. That's fucking right! Woo! Just a quick caveat, these books are great, I think everyone should read them, but it may be an incomplete list in terms of what you personally need to improve upon could be different than the next guy. For example, for me, starting out, one of the biggest obstacles I had to overcome was my depression. So reading books like The Happiness Hypothesis, 150 Healthiest Foods on Earth, The Power of Now, books like this dramatically helped improve my game and my personal life, but may not necessarily be the best books for you. Go into what your mentors give you, what your friends are telling you, what girls are giving you as feedback, and make a list of those areas of your life that you need to improve on, and then find the best books to address that for yourself. And that's because game is about becoming the best version of yourself and then communicating that out to the women that you're meeting. Caveat number two, I also want to stress that reading and information intake of all kinds should not be thought of as a substitute for taking action but should be thought of a complement to the action that you take it should be giving you insights so that you can progress faster in real life if you haven't yet talked to a real life woman go outside and do that then come back and read these books because information without action is useless no one becomes a master with women or a master over themselves in their own lives simply by reading a lot. That'd be silly, right? So by taking that action and using reading and information intake and mentorship to supplement your progress, you can expedite and make that progress faster than it otherwise would be. And some other benefits of reading besides the obvious fact that you're getting insights from people who are smarter than you or who are where you want to be or, or have lived a, an awesome life, you get more orderly in your thinking, you get more focused, your verbal acuity goes up, you're also able to connect with people more easily because you understand more of where they come from, that part of the country that they're from or their other country and relate to them and build some cultural rapport with them so that it's less of an uphill battle and you feel more at one with that other person. It also doesn't hurt to become a more interesting and cultured person. The books I'm giving you here are laid out in a sequence from what you should read first as a beginner to intermediate and then more advanced stuff later on. Book number one, The Flinch by Julian Smith. This is the first book that you should read as a beginner because it strikes right to the heart and right to the core of the issue that's preventing you from getting success with girls, be it that you are not approaching at all. So we all have this instinctual flinch, this fear that comes up, this self-doubt that clouds our mind, that prevents us from taking that first step in a journey. Whether it be approaching that girl, going on that adventure, going after an opportunity, speaking on stage, these fears that, that stop us from doing what we know we have to do, what we know will make our life better. And it's often not a lack of knowledge or skill, but it's that flinch, that fear that we need to get over to start getting success. Another thing about this book is it gives you mindsets and it gives you an exercise to do every day to train your brain, your prefrontal cortex to get stronger and to overcome that flinch of fear. And that's cold showers. So this book goes into detail on why that's important for you. Uh, if you want to get this book, it's free. Uh, I'll put it in my Telegram group. So just join the Telegram group. It is t.me slash PUA club. Book number two, Models, Attract Women Through Honesty by Mark Manson. So this book is a great foundation for covering the fundamentals of what is attractive behavior, what is attractive aesthetics for a man, the general things that you can improve and healthy mindsets to start your journey with game. You won't get good at game simply by reading this book, but it's a good first step in the right direction. Book number three is No More Mr. Nice Guy by Robert Glover. If you have trouble, let's say, conveying your needs, setting boundaries, telling people no, uh, if you've had an absentee father growing up, if you 
have been raised primarily by women and you have trouble, let's say, with conflict and resolving conflict and tension, then this book is for you. We all typically have some of these traits and what this book is good at is identifying what traits you have and how to weed them out of your lives so that you can live a more happy life. Book number four, Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion by Robert Cialdini. I recommend this book more than any other. After you're done reading this book, you cannot see the world the same way afterward. It, in addition to helping you with game, will help you avoid scams, avoid uh, getting suckered into things, and allow yourself to understand what truly persuades people, what truly moves people. And it comes down to six different criteria. And those are reciprocity. So if you give to someone, they in turn want to give back. Commitment consistency. When people commit to something, they're more likely to honor and follow through with that commitment. Social proof. People do things that other people are doing. Authority, which is that people tend to obey certain characteristics of authority. Liking, so people are more persuaded by people that they like. And scarcity, so perceived scarcity generates more desire for something. So once you go deep into those six characteristics, you will understand game at a more profound, deep psychological level. And this helps you with your business, with your life, with your family, with every part of your life. Can't recommend it enough. Book number five, Awaken the Giant Within by Tony Robbins. So this is a monumental work in the area of self-development. If you want to have rock solid beliefs, if you want to master a craft, you want to master your emotions, you want to be the best version of yourself that you can be and grow and expand, this is the book for that. And another interesting thing is that this book underlays a lot of the pickup community, the dating and self-development community. A lot of the principles that we talk about in this community can be traced back to this book. If you guys want to see the time that I went to Tony Robbins in person, you can click that link. It's essentially unleashing the power within. It's a self-development event. I'll link it right here in the iCard. Book number six. The Way of the Superior Man by David Data. Now, this is a great book on the spiritual and energetic side of dating. And what I mean by that is it explains what masculine energy is, what feminine energy is. And not only that, but how those energies interact and how they can best complement one another. One of my favorite lessons from this book is to not try to force the feminine to express itself uh, in a very logical manner. The feminine wants to be free and flowing and dancing. And a practical example he gives in the book is if your girl is crying, you shouldn't ask her, what are the reasons you are crying right now? Right? You should be with her. You should caress her. You should hold her. You should dance with her. You should feel her and allow those emotions to flow and then go through. And then at the end of that, then you will understand the reasons behind things. She will express it, but not in that moment. It also takes a lot of spiritual and high-minded ideas and puts it into more practical terms that you can actually use in your dating life. Book number seven, Your Brain on Porn by Gary Wilson. Now, I'd personally pay half a million dollars if I could send this book back to me when I was 12 because porn has been a very destructive force in my adolescence and I wish I'd honestly never watched it. This book combines the most up-to-date science with a lot of hard-hitting testimonials from hundreds and thousands of guys that have been collected over the years on his personal site. And it combines both of those into like this hard-hitting, gut-wrenching, enlightening, disturbing read that's quite short and it really helps you attach a lot of pain to what watching porn will do for your life and what it does do for your life so that you can move away from that. Highly recommend getting this book, blocking porn on your phone or your computer, and developing a strategy to keep it out of your life. If you want the best dating life that you can get, 
you're not going to get it by squandering your masculine essence, your testosterone into a tissue, right? You're going to have to use that energy as a force to propel you toward the dating life that you want to get off your ass, to approach that girl and to go after your life and go get it. Book number eight, any book on evolutionary psychology, evolutionary biology that'll help give you a context as to what is dating? What is mating? What do women actually desire? What do women, what attracts women? What is like the roadmap of how things work on a very basic primal level? One is the evolutionary of desire by David Buss. He is the preeminent evolutionary, evolutionary psychologist in the world. He's got several books, but this one specifically focuses on dating, mating. And the second book I have for you guys is more approachable. It's more basic read and it's mate. And that's by an evolutionary psychologist, Jeffrey Miller, and also Tucker Max. It helps you understand basic evolutionary psychology to give you a better understanding of how things work. Book number nine, Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday. So this is an essential book if you're at more of an advanced stage in game, you've had great results. And the purpose of reading this book is to not let your ego overcome you. So ego is this unhealthy obsession with your own abilities and an inflated sense of self-importance. And what is wrong with that is that it can often get in your way of becoming your best self and of relating to other people. And it's been said that game breeds narcissism like nothing else, because if you're having tons of women who are just obsessed about you, they're hitting you up, you're in high demand, you can feel as though you are more important, that you're superior, for example. And what this does is it slaps you in the face and says, no, look how you actually are. Don't get this overly inflated sense of self-importance and also don't have low self-esteem either. There's a great book on that, Six Pillars of Self-Esteem, but have an accurate understanding of who you are, what your abilities are and what your lifestyle is like. And another great lesson that I got out of this book was to always stay the student. Don't think that you know it all. Don't think that you're the master. There's always more to learn and you should always stay the student in life to learn from the best so that you can learn more and improve your life and improve the lives of people around you. Book number 10, I Hope They Serve Beer in Hell by Tucker Max. So this last book is simply as an inspiration. It serves as a benchmark for how fun and crazy and adventurous your life can be if you proactively go out and create it. You are only limited by your imagination. Go outside, get out of your autopilot mode and go find the adventures that await you. All right, I'm gonna give you guys some bonus books. These are books on sex and one on habits. So book number one is Sex God Method by Daniel Rose. And this explains how to psychologically get girls turned on. A lot of books on sex focus too much on the technicalities and not as much on the psychology. Book number two is She Comes First by Ian Kerner. And this is basically how to eat pussy like a champ. The one thing I don't want you to take out of this is the idea that he puts as a lot of girls don't like penetrative sex. And that's because he has premature ejaculation and a small penis. But women love to be fucked and women love to get eaten out. They love both. Book number three is The Women's Anatomy of Arousal by Sherry Winston. And this is basically just the technical side, how to stimulate a woman. Book number four goes into more psychology, and that is The Ultimate Guide to Kink by Tristan Taramino. This is how to get kinky, how to do role play, BDSM, and gives you all the ins and outs of how to, to go about it, how to talk about it, how to bring it up with your partner or with the girl that you're seeing, and how to fulfill a lot of these uh, fantasies that girls have. And if you get good at fulfilling fantasies, it turns out girls want to have sex with you more. 
The last book I have for you guys in terms of habits would be Atomic Habits. Part of becoming an attractive man is having ironclad habits that you have in your life to build the best version of yourself. And while books are great, nothing beats having a mentor guide you through the process of becoming great with women, step by step, by the hand, and showing you exactly what you need to work on on a weekly basis so that you can get the results and the women that you want. So what I've done is gone ahead and created two programs. The first one is a three month online mentorship where I guide you through the process of becoming better with women through weekly calls, weekly personal calls, a 24 seven telegram group through an online course and through breaking down and analyzing every aspect of your game that I can through audio infields, through text game, through breaking down your Instagram and how you communicate. And then the second program I have is a seven day in-person immersion where I'm there being your personal wingman, guiding you through that process in person. And this year I'm offering the immersion in three different cities, in Miami in April, New York City in June, Barcelona in June, and also Miami in October. To apply for either the mentorship program or the immersion program, click the link in the description or the top comment below to get started. And I look forward to helping you on your journey. Peace.